daughter of one of rap music's biggest stars. When Tupac Shakur was fatally shot in Las Vegas last year, his friend and manager, Suge Knight, was by his side. Tonight, in an exclusive interview, Suge Knight talks with our Lennon Ozizwe about what he saw and the events leading to Tupac's murder. September 7th is a, it's a part of history. It's a sad day. It's an educational day. September 7th is a day that would change death row records forever. A day filled with mystery that started with a fight at the MGM Grand and ended with the shooting of rapper Tupac Shakur and death row CEO Suge Knight. Last week in a Los Angeles courtroom, Knight had his probation revoked and he was sentenced to nine years in prison because of the events of that night. A defendant is sentenced on each count two and three to nine years in state prison. Tonight, in the first and only television interview since the sentencing, Knight talks about that evening. A night, he says, began with a good time in Las Vegas with a man he calls his best friend. Well, you know, we usually do our same old usual routine. Uh, me and Parker come in and we'll go uh, gamble and we play like nobody else can play and see a bunch of women around and we have fun. We didn't have to think about how to have fun. It came natural. Together they went to see Knight's Las Vegas neighbor Mike Tyson fight at the MGM Grand. It was the fight that followed in the lobby that would have the most devastating impact. Knight claims not to know what prompted the free-for-all that lasted only seconds. In this exclusive video, you can see a steamed Tupac and Knight leaving the Grand with a growing entourage. The party continued as the men headed up the Las Vegas Strip on the way to a fundraiser. But they were stopped by a shower of bullets. Tupac was fatally wounded. Knight was struck in the head. Knight reacted by making a U-turn, a move that's been questioned because the direction is away from any hospital. In our interview, Knight defended his action. How many people you know would get shot in the head, where it fractured their skull, instead, and, and instead of just taking off driving and thinking about their budget and make sure they are all right, do you think any person gets shot in the head going to say, oh, let me see the quickest way to get to the hospital? The average person, I think, would be dead. We asked Knight, who killed Tupac? He says America's Most Wanted has already revealed the answer to that question. Whatever you have, the chill show have, and the, the police have, See, like you guys had everything laid out already and you guys asking questions that you guys already know the answer to. He's referring to the affidavit America's Most Wanted obtained last month. It says confidential informants have identified this man, Orlando Anderson, also known as Baby Lane, as Tupac's killer. Anderson is the same man who was the target of the fight at the MGM Grand. He's denied any involvement in the shooting, and so far neither Anderson or anyone else has been charged in Tupac's killing. But suspicion is centered on at least one other character, Suge Knight himself. There's another theory, and we even had tips at the show. Mm -hmm. People say that you're behind the killing of Tupac. Okay. Let's, once again, let's use common sense. One, I'm going to be behind killing my best friend and telling him to shoot me in my head. Just shoot me in my head. Make sure you hit me in my head for it can look good. That's crazy. I've had people stop me on the street saying Suge Knight did it, didn't he? And one of the reasons they say is Tupac was fixing to leave death row records. Right. One of the things is this. I can guarantee you this. If you look at any interview that Tupac did, if you look at any video, any TV show he did, one thing he always did was praise his death row. And we made him pray to each other. Knight says he's disappointed that Tupac's mother has said death row cheated her son. When I was in jail, I gave her a check for $3 million. Plus, also, you got the paperwork right there that you can show the screen, the camera, the world. I think in four or five months, Tupac spent two million, four, two million, five. Knight says death row records will continue to succeed in spite of his nine-year sentence for parole violation in connection with that fight at the MGM Grand. Also unchanged, he says, are his feelings for Tupac. I love Pac then, I love Pac now, 
He loved me. That's my little homie. And it's always going to be that way, you know, and uh, nothing's going to change that. But six months later, the murder of Tupac Shakur remains unsolved. If you have any information about the shooting, please call 1-800-CRIME-TV.